Okay. Um, I wanted to give a review of this um, software called Inkfrog, and um, just so anyone who doesn't know, uh, my understanding is Inkfrog is primarily a eBay um, inventory uh, library management, or it's inventory management for eBay, and I believe they have other. Um, you can do other channels such as um, Amazon, Shopify, Big Commerce. So I um, I enrolled in Inkfrog um, for the purpose of syncing Amazon um, inventory and sales uh, to eBay. So it's essentially importing my Amazon inventory into um, eBay through Inkfrog and I had a pretty bad experience and I just wanted to share that for any other Amazon sellers that are thinking how can you cross list uh, between the two platforms I think uh, I, I think just kind of the primary problem between the cross listing is I guess they they use different API's or different software I'm not um, too I don't understand it completely how the talking works um, on the software side, but what I do know is that um, th you need a specific software, or you're going to need a software to to sync automatically between Amazon and eBay. Okay, so anyways, so I uh, used um, another service before Inkfrog, but um, Inkfrog has um, we just go to, you know, so I'm on their website. They are, they brand themselves as an Amazon seller software, makes it easy to sell products and keep them in sync. You know, it's just easy to keep it in sync. And then it has all the, you know, you can do Amazon inventory management, listing creation, Amazon sync, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, I, I use Inkfrog for about a month. And what I can say is there were a lot of problems. So what, what happened was, you know, I have a few thousand SKUs on Amazon. And so I thought the process would be pretty simple where I could take the item on Amazon. Um, Inkfrog would take the images and the descriptions and then, um, and then take that information from Amazon reports and then just essentially plug it into um, an eBay listing. So if I have a thousand listings on Amazon, it will make a thousand eBay listings. Uh, so it kind of did that. Um, it, so what happens, what actually happened, ended up happening was it would take the title. Um, and it would, it would get cut off, <clears throat> which I'm not surprised. So Amazon, you can have really long titles. eBay, you can't have long titles. So it just get cut off. It'd be like, you know, 100 pack envelopes or it's a 100 pack Envit. You know, I get it because the title's too long. Um, and, and so you'd have to go in and do some changing and editing of the titles yourself um, in the software. I think you're going to get that with any program you use. Um, and then it would take the photos, I guess going back to the titles, it would sometimes like if, if there was a, if, you know, if you're doing retail arbitrage or you're just buying brand name stuff and, you know, the Amazon listing has a copyright or um, registered trademark symbol, it's going to mess it up. Inkfrog messes it up. It does like this crazy um, unidentified symbol, you know, like one of those computer symbols that looks like it's inverted or something and, and then you have to go in and fix that or else your title looks really ugly so I think that was the first, one of the big problems I had just through Inkfrog with the titles. It would take the images okay um, and then it wouldn't take the descriptions and I had a correspondence with um, Inkfrog support and they just said it's we couldn't get the description um, from Amazon from the reports that we pull um, and I don't know 
I, I, the, it's, it was kind of vague in the email correspondence I had, but um, I know that um, it's possible to t t like to extract the descriptions. I don't I don't specifically know how because um, you know it's, it's not something I've done a ton of research in. But my understanding is uh, you can get like the flat files extracted from the uh, your inventory, and then it has um, all all the descriptions and all the other attributes for the listing. So I, I don't know why um, Inkfrog was unable to import the descriptions. So it's kind of so then it, it's like I would import the listings from Amazon to eBay, and it'd be like uh, a jacked up title and then like some photos. And and then you could buy it, right? I I guess that works. <laughs> like if someone is just looking for something, but it's not uh, doesn't look too professional. Okay, so um, so that was the biggest thing. The I mean, sorry, that was not the biggest thing. That was pretty big red flags for me. Um, I mean, that's not very helpful support I got. Um, and then this past week, what was really frustrating was I was starting to oversell things. So I get someone place order for 10 units and I check my inventory. I don't even have 10 units. Like I have, I've been sold out for two weeks and I don't know what's going on, but I did an audit uh, or spot checked my inventory and there were like, the stuff was not synced up between Seller Central and Inkfrog. And that's like a huge red flag because, I mean, this, this software says, uh, where is it? Oh, it says, easy to sell your products on Amazon or keep them in sync with other channels. So this, this is like the biggest selling point and, or, you know, what they're saying is their biggest selling point and it could, I couldn't do that. And I had a, I emailed their support and then they said, um, this is a problem. Our team is working on it. You're going to have to manually update your um, your listings. And then at that point, I'm like, why am I paying for this service? Uh, it's, the whole point is to ma automatically keep my products in sync and import it. So if I have to do it myself, then why am I throwing money at this company? Um, so their pricing, I think it was like 35 bucks. Uh, I think I bought, um, maybe I bought the basic one or I think I bought the, I bought the professional one because I have, um, I have quite a bit of listings, you know, a couple thousand listings. So I need the unlimited listings, but honestly, um, the software is not, is not there for Amazon. So I I don't know. I, I wouldn't use any of these, 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 uh, I wouldn't use this product at all. So, you know, but I bet maybe eBay listing and yeah, maybe it's a good eBay. Cause I mean, I, I have products on eBay too. Um, so maybe it's good on eBay. Um, but I just want to go, let me, what's going on here, dude? Okay, Amazon listing software. Okay. Um. This, like, stuff like this, where it's, like, Amazon listing software. Okay, I'm sorry, this, I think this is Amazon eBay, but. Amazon listing creation, uh, absolutely not. Having a large number of products can present a challenge for your business when it comes to inventory management. Inkfrog automates this for you so you don't need to worry about eBay and Amazon inventory management issues like overselling. Well, that's what happened, okay. Uh, okay, and then Inkfrog's powerful eBay and Amazon lister lets you keep your business in sync. So that absolutely did not happen. I don't understand what this, okay, this is like the same thing, Amazon Sync. List your Amazon inventory across multiple eBay accounts. Okay, I don't know, it didn't work. I only have one account, but. And there was, I don't know, I, 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 I was like in Inkfrog's backend and then they were like, 
talking about creating Amazon pages using your eBay page. And I was like, absolutely not, dude. That's a bad idea. And it kind of gave me the impression that whoever made this software probably does not or does not understand how um, listing, creating detail pages works on Amazon. So I would not recommend this product. I just wanted to give a review because I just had a, such a bad experience. I think the worst part was I was like, it's not sync. I told their support, I'm not. It's, the inventory is not sinking. Like I just oversold a couple orders already, and now I have to get cancel them and get a bad metric and get a bad review probably on eBay. And then they said, I said I I need to cancel this service and need a refund. And then they the support person told me, um, you know, we reserve the right to give you a bad like to not provide anything and collect your money. And I'm like, and then then they said um. But for this one time, we will uh, give you your money back as a courtesy. And I was like, at that point, I was like, okay, that's pretty uh, stupid. So anyways, I, I don't really care for this ink frog then. I think I have a, there's another program I, use, I, I was using before ink frog called Joe Lister. And I had a lot of success with that, but I thought the pricing is pretty expensive. Um, but ideally, if you have a lot of like, thousands of SKUs, you could make the monthly cost back in a few days. But it just f doesn't feel good. Like for me, I think the Joe Lister was like $180 a month. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of expensive. But I guess if you're doing volume, it, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, that for me, I was doing volume. So, it, okay, it's 180 bucks, but it's, it's still. 180 bucks. So I think I'll make another video about Joe Lister, but I just wanted to share my experience with Ink Frog. Would not recommend it. Maybe for eBay, but uh, I think there's other programs like 6-Bit, which I'm going to try, because um, I think eBay's backend is also kind of difficult to manage. So just want to share my experience. Thanks.